university study is quite different to college or sixth form and will vary depending on which course you pick. I have about 10 hours of contact time per week, which is split between lectures, seminars, tutorials and workshops. But most of my work is done independently, so it's important to be quite self-motivated. A lecture is basically a lesson with your entire cohort and a lecturer will talk about the topic of the week. It usually lasts about an hour and you make notes during the lecture and you will use those notes and discuss them during seminars. Different ways work for different people, but the way that's been suggested to me by many lecturers is check the notes before a lecture. They're provided on the VLE, take notes during the session, very minimal notes on what bits you don't understand. After that, to improve your notes, there is a lecture replay system in which you can go through and copy up on bits you weren't too sure about. So for me personally, I will go to the lecture, get the PowerPoint up, and I'll add to the PowerPoint slides with any extra notes that I get from the lecture. And then afterwards, I'll go home and I will write up my notes in a full Word document. This way, I'm probably engaging with the lecture. I can add any examples of my own or anything extra the lecturer says without having to jot down everything at once. A seminar is led by a seminar leader, which could be the lecturer or other staff members, and it consists around 15 to 20 people. And you get to discuss ideas mentioned during the lectures, ask any questions you have, and reflect on what you learned. For materials, I like to use an iPad with its keyboard or anything similar to this. I love the app GoodNotes. This way, I have all my notes in the same place, but I can still write on them as if it were a notebook. Best part is, I can always use it as a computer if I need to. As for my reading, I like to do it after my lectures so that I've already been introduced to the topic and now I can just understand it further. So as an English student, I would say I spend on average about two hours a week preparing for um, my lecture and workshops for like one module um, and that includes reading through the critical materials for discussion. So I do biology and I tend to have quite a lot of extra reading of research papers, doing additional coursework and revision for exams and this will tend to take a couple of hours a day. Credits are the number of hours that you do connected to your module. So if you do a 20 credit module, that means you do 200 hours towards that module, both in your class, in your reading, in your labs, and you need 120 credits every year and 360 total to graduate with honours. 